Hey there, hey, welcome back to another upload. If you're new here, my name is Mocha, and thank you so much for clicking on my video. So today, I'm going to show you guys my full body wax routine. I'm going to be waxing my underarms and, you know, my little lady part down there. But when we get there, I'm going to explain to you guys how I wax down there, if that makes sense. Okay. And I want to thank Chess Wellness for sponsoring today's video. So I have the Bikini Star Hard Wax Beads. And this is specifically for coarse hair. Um, I'm, they say no stress required. Oh my God. Okay. We're going to see how this works out. I let my underarms grow out purposely for this video because I want to show y'all. Okay. I want to give y'all the trick. I want to show you so this is how we are under our underarm we're definitely gonna clean that up we definitely need to clean this up i like to set my room to 165 i feel like that is like a good temperature like it's not super super hot like it would burn you but it's like it's gonna get the job done i'm gonna pour the beef inside of the warmer So we have our beads inside of our warmer and we set the temperature to 165. So now I'm just gonna put the cover on it so it can, you know, hurry up the process and let it melt like so. Stir the beads around so it can easily get melted. You don't want it to just stick together. So just make sure you're consistently just stirring it around so the wax can actually melt. And if you feel like it's not melting fast enough, you can also adjust the heat. Our wax has melted all the way. When you feel like your wax has melted, you want to kind of turn the temperature back to 165 because that's the setting you'll be using to wax. We don't want it to be in the 200s or anything like that because we don't need to burn our skin. We're not doing that, okay? So let it sit on the 165. Make sure it's set to the number that you want it to be. 165, between 150 to 170 is a good temperature. I like to do 165. This little red button right here means it's still hot. And when it gets to the number that you want it to be, which is 165, the red is gonna turn green. So that's just like a little pointer you can use to help you know when your temperature is at what you want it to be. It's time to wax. It is ready. Can, you can see that the light is now green. So yeah, let's start. In the wax kit, you do have a pre-wax spray and you can use this to spray underneath your arms before you apply the wax. They do say you should exfoliate. Do I recommend it? You can do it. Like sometimes I forget, sometimes I do it. It, do, it does help. I feel like exfoliating does help because it makes the process less painful, I can say. So you have to know what direction your hairs go in. For me, my hairs are kind of, me looking at it like this, my hairs go down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply the wax going down and I'm going to rip it up. Every time I'm about to start waxing myself, I get like butterflies because it's like a nervous feeling. It's like a whoo, whoo, whoo. Okay. You want it to cool off. You don't want it to be like really runny. See how like how it's running? You don't want it to do that. So I'm just gonna let it cool off a little bit. And what helps is like if you put like you see how like how the bottom has like a little thickness. Just gonna pat it like that. So the bottom is you want the bottom to have a little ump so you could just pull it up. Let me 
did that. Make sure it's completely dry. This is my second round to make sure everything is off. And remember, my hairs are going down, so I'm just going to pull going up. There you go. So pretty. After, I'm going to go in with that after wax spray, and I'm just going to spray my down. Our underarms are completed and it looks amazing. Like, look at that. Look at that. So that's some tips you can use when you are waxing your underarms. Just know the direction in which your hair is going. If it's going down, you want to apply the wax going down and rip it up. If you feel like your hairs are going upwards, you want to apply the wax going up and rip it going down. Yes. Um, and just take your time. You want to make sure your wax is at a good consistency. You don't want it too hot. You want it to be able to stir on the spatula. And it's just going to be easier to, you know, apply your wax. Another tip is make sure at the bottom you want to have that little grid at the bottom so you can just pull it up. It will be easier. So now, we're going on to our Brazilian area. I'm going to try my best to explain this to you guys. So, just bear with me, okay? So, it's definitely best to have a mirror in front of you like what I have now. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely going to see my face. <laughs> Action while I do this, okay, and I'm gonna explain it, so just bear with me. So, you want to be sitting on the floor, you want to sit on a chair, you want to sit on something that you're comfortable, and of course, your legs are open, you know. Um, how I like to work, I like to work in going outwards. This is our leg part, our vagina, and I like to right here is our. Just say, I don't want to be too vulgar, but it is what it is. So right here is like our lips, right? So what you want to do, I like to work from the lips outwards. So I'll do one side of the lip, the other side of the lip. Then I'll go move out towards the bikini area. I'll then go on top. And the last piece I would do will be at the tip where the clitoris will be. So you're basically waxing in sections. And starting from the lips moving outward, I feel like it's easier because the lips, I feel like it's the most difficult part. So how I like to work, I like to split it in half. So I would split my vagina in half and I would basically work on one side and then I would go in and work on the other side. That's just how I like to do it. It just makes it easier for me. I know some people would put the wax on both sides and just work from side to side, side to side. I like to do one side and I'll do the next side. So I'm just gonna go in. I'm about to apply it to my lip part. Make sure you have some pictures you want it. You want to turn it around. And then I'm just going to apply it. Make sure you know which side, how your hairs are going, by the way. It's going to help a lot. Trust me. And the same thing when you ditch your underarms. You want to make sure it's a little tail at the end so you can easily pull. You don't want to like put it so flat where you cannot pull. And you just want to pull, okay? You may have to do it in sections like one, two, three, like that. That's how I like to do it. One, two. Woo! Woo! That did it. We're moving on. No, we're doing our bikini area now. Yeah, the big the sides are really, really, really easy to do. Because it's not that much hair there. So when you get to the sides, you're kind of 
our look. I'm just cleaning up the one side now of the lip. We're basically done. I'm just cleaning it up, making sure everything is, you know, smooth and how I want it. And that's basically it. So now I'm going to move to the other side. Look, that's how simple it is, guys. It's not that hard. It's really just breathing, praying, and knowing that you got this. And I'm pretty sure you got this. Because once you do the first strip, everything else is easy. It's just really the first strip that he gave you a headache. But everything else, be easy. First side is done. I'm now moving on to the other side. Ooh, one, two, one. This shit is crazy. <laughs> hair there so it don't really hurt that much Ooh. you're just gonna rip off like the little hairs that you see you're just gonna go in with the wax and just clean the strip it up and that's really it we are completely finished our full underarm and brazilian wax um i hope i explained it really thorough for you guys let me know in the comments how y'all feel like did but explain to you guys honestly you just have to try it i know it probably is terrifying like a rip nail but once you do it the first time you already know what to expect. I think it's more of an expecting kind of thing. Um, but Trust Wellness does a really good job of providing everything that you need in the waxing kit. You have nothing to worry about. Everything that you will need to do your underarm and your own Brazilian wax at home is definitely in the kit. I definitely would recommend you guys to get your hands on it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, you already know what to do. Thumbs me up. Talk to me in the comments. Let me know any questions you guys might have. Just comment in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe so you get a notification when I drop more uploads. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I met him in Philly and the name was Brown. Shook.